and welcome back to Let's Play Donkey Kong 94. I'm Bupix, and this boat looks like it has an eye. Shaking his butt! Yes, I have to say that every time. Let's go up here first. We need his parasol. But those little cube guys are so mad. Arr, he walked around on spikes all day. Arr, that guy. He's just stuck down there. Let's give him some more room to walk. You don't really have to be fast here. All that matters is that he starts walking on the spikes like his little buddies. Or his acquaintances. Now you don't need to feel left out. And no, I don't want that hat. That's dumb. I got a million likes. I also don't want that one up. Hearts don't look like that. Look, the porthole, it's an eye. It's got a nose, too. And some new enemies. These night guys, when they see you, they charge forward. They can push you, and if they push you up against a wall, you die. Those hermit crabs, they extend their pincers out and pinch at you. They might catch you off guard if you don't know what they do. I forgot what they did and I died when trying to record this. So you're not going to see that. You will see him pinch. See? Look at that. Watch out for that. Yeah, can't get up that way. I want to get, I want that bag. My bag. I could go over and get that one up, but eh, it's just one life. Do want that key though. Oh, stupid. What's this wire doing here anyway? What purpose does it serve? I'm complaining about the practicality of level design in real life. Slot machine. Man, I'm never gonna get get that. I'm never gonna get enough to get Porygon. I feel bad now. Like seriously, I never got Porygon because I'm so bad at the slots. And there is our first example of a fake door. If you try to open the other door, nothing happens. If you crouch, these guys can push you under here. You're gonna need to do that. Wow, I already got all the items. What are those little robots doing on a ship? I'm not entirely sure of the point of this thing. It just makes a single block. No, I want the key. Seeing as how you can stand on the robots, I don't see how it mattered. There. See, that door was fake and nothing happened. This will become a mechanic in much later levels. To annoying degrees at times. It's better than one. And now, in the stern of the ship, we shall go do something with Donkey Kong. It's actually fairly annoying. These platforms don't always sync up. Well, and you can't get crushed against those temporary platforms, upwards at least. Can crush you downwards. This way. Come on, stop breaking out, DK. Thank you for opening the path for me. You're so nice. And thanks for closing it behind me. Couldn't do that myself. It looks like he's having way too much fun 
messing with that switch. He's like, yeah, move the switch. And that's all there is to it. Just kind of take your time and go when you can. Don't try to go too fast, you might die. That's one of the lamer scenes, honestly. And there's nothing really fun about it. It just kind of happens. But at least it got 70 lives now. So you get more lives from beating levels like that than you do from the minigames, so it's not always as important to do the minigames. And butt shaking. You know, having fire near your sails doesn't seem like the best idea. I mean, I'm not a sailor or anything, but it just seems like a bad idea to me. Ah, that wasn't far enough. You know, I think you can actually go up through that, so I don't know I'm going over to the left. Why are there trash cans on the sail place? It's not where you put trash cans. Come on, come down the girder, the girder thing. Go behind the background. I don't know if that's an animation glitch or not. Eh. Now we're in the ship's eye. I see. It's a pun, get it? No, it's not a good pun. That's not that, that's the point. It's supposed to be terrible. I'm supposed to not to be funny. And this is an unnecessarily long ladder. Run faster, you butthole run! Thank you. I don't want that there though. No! Why does nothing throw the way I want it to be thrown? Oh, I got the key. I'm happy. Yes! Because a boat sail is totally a level. Play on canvas, or whatever they make sails out of. This does not look like a sail. This is not a sail. That. Can't pick up the knights. Want the hat. Stop chasing me when you see me, it's creepy. I don't want any Night Stalkers. And make you go down there. I suppose I technically didn't have to put the platform back, but... Eh. Just trick you into running so I can get through this faster. Because I'm a dummy and put the platforms back. And you can see little knot bloopers down there. Yeah, these kill you too. Obviously. Push me. Can't have that open. There we go. I can do this, I can do this. Yeah. And done with you. Wait. We're on the sails. What's water doing there? Like, I just realized that. Oh well. Give me a one-up for my unobservantness. Which is totally a word. Don't look it up or anything. Just trust me. You're gonna want to be careful in this fight, otherwise you might get hit by the barrels, because they can be somewhat erratic. He 
chucks one to the left, chucks one to the right, throws one down, then rolls one left, rolls one right, then repeats the process. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I missed that one. Oh well. It's all just pattern based, so. Once you know how it works, it's not that bad. Not to rock the feet. They also, like, stack up at the very bottom where you started, so. If you miss one and really want barrels, you can just go down there. Where are you getting these? Let me see a stack of barrels behind you. It's like magic barrels or something. You're gonna have to jump higher than that. And that's the boat done. It's shorter than the other than the previous one, but the next world's a bit longer, and might be considered like we've already done it before. I mean it is different, but it's fairly similar. Next time, I'll be going through the jungle. And Buffix, I'll see you then when I go through the jungle and do jungle stuff. Bye!